Hi there, chemistry students. Okay, in this uh, little video, I'm going to work out a couple of questions that I assigned you for homework. And if you aren't part of my class, well, you're going to see some demonstrations of how to do pH and pOH questions. All right, so in question four from yesterday's worksheet, I'm asking you to determine the pOH of a solution as 0.34 moles per liter of HNO3. Well, we know HNO3 is nitric acid. When placed in water, it will ionize into its ions, of course, plus one and minus one. Now, we balance that reaction, you get a one for each thing. So our concentration of HNO3 is 0 0.0034 moles per liter. And because our mole ratio is one to one, then that is the same concentration for hydrogen and for the nitrate ions. So my H plus concentration in moles per liter is also 0 0.0034 moles per liter. Just so happens in this case. Now the question wants the pOH. Well I can't directly get the pOH from a hydrogen ion concentration, not with the formulas I was giving anyway, but I know if I have the hydrogen ion concentration I can determine the pH. So I'll do that first. We would have negative log of the hydrogen ion concentration, 0 0.0034. And we will work that out. So you would have negative log 0 0.0034. That gives us 2.47. My pH is therefore 2.47. Well, the question didn't want pH. It wanted pOH. How do we get the pOH, we use the fact that pH and pOH always have a sum of 14. So we take the pH to the other side and subtract. So my formula for pOH is 14 minus 2.47, which gives me 11.53. So we get our pOH from the pH in that way. All right, another question that I asked we have an acidic solution as a pH of 4, and its initial volume is 10 mils. And the pH is 4. Okay, I'm going to take that beaker. I'm going to dump it into a larger beaker, and then raise the volume so that the final volume will be 1,000 milliliters. So my initial volume is 10. My final volume is uh, 1,000 mils. My initial concentration, I'll have to figure out. Well, our hydrogen ion concentration can be figured out by taking 10 to the minus pH. So my 10 to the minus 4 moles per liter is the H plus concentration. And that will be Ci. Now we can determine what the concentration is in here. So CF will be CI VI divided by VF. My initial concentration was 10 to the minus 4 moles per liter. My initial volume was 10 mils. And final volume is 1,000 mils. Now, we don't get hung up on the fact that here I have liters and here I have milliliters. That's not a big deal because the mils cancel. That's all that's important. So if I had 10 to the minus 4, and then times 10 would make 10 to the minus 3, and then divide by 1,000, you get 10 to the minus 6 moles per liter. If you want to type that in better, you could type it as 1 times 10 to the minus 6. That's my concentration at the end of all things. It was diluted by a factor of 100. So now this is my hydrogen ion concentration in the initial stages. It was asking for the pH of the resulting solution. So we know that pH is negative log of the hydrogen ion concentration, 1 times 10 to the minus 6. We don't need the calculator to tell us that that pH is 6. Another way to do that was to realize that the concentration, when you go from a pH of 4 and you made it get dilute by a factor of 100, so when you went from 10 mils to 1,000 mils, the 
the concentration went down by a factor of 100, 10 to the 2. So if the concentration gets 10 to the 2 smaller, we know that the pH is a measure of how many powers of 10 that it got smaller by. So the acid got weaker by 2 powers of 10, so the pH would have gone from 4 to 6. You could have rationalized it that way, doing it in your head, or you could have uh, worked out the question as we just did. I see I've got enough time to maybe do the last question. What is the pH of a solution, number 10, that contains 1.2 moles of nitric acid and 1.7 moles of hydrochloric acid dissolved in 1,000 liters of water? So when I have nitric acid, HNO3, we already saw that if we diluted, or sorry, if we added 1.2 moles of nitric acid, you would get the same number of moles of hydrogen and nitrogen. So my N for H plus is 1.2 moles. But I also have uh, added hydrochloric acid, which will ionize to give more hydrogens and Cl ions. <coughs> I have 1.7 moles of HCl, so that gives me 1.7 moles of H plus as well. So all together, I have added a total of 1.2 moles and 1.7 moles of H ions. So I have 2.9 moles added of hydrogen ions. So if that's how many moles of hydrogen ions I have in a thousand liters of water, then I have to work out my concentration, 2.9 moles in 1,000 liters gives you 2.9 times 10 to the minus 3 moles per liter of H plus ions. And the question, if you recall, is asking us to work out the pH of that solution. So how are we going to get pH? We know that the pH is negative log of the hydrogen ion concentration. So pH is negative log of 2.9 times 10 to the minus 3. We're ready to go to our calculator. Again, turn it on. Negative log of 2.9 exponent negative 3 in the bracket, and you get 2.54 is our pH. So we've worked that one out. Hope you've enjoyed this.